Hey, what's up high levelers? In today's video, we're going to learn about text to pay links and how can we use them inside the mobile app as well as desktop version. Now, the text to pay links are really useful when it comes to sending instant invoices from the mobile app or the desktop side and getting paid from your clients. So let's dive into the mobile app first, see how convenient it is and how you can utilize this feature as well. All right, so I'm gonna dive into the mobile app first. As you can see, I already have a conversation open. So what you have to do is head over into the conversations tab, then open the chat, and then you will see this plus icon here where you have different attachments that you can do. All you have to do is click on the request payment thing, and then it will give you uh, some of these fields. So firstly, we have some line items that you can type in. So let's say, I wanna say console for marketing, you can also add the multiple ones by clicking on the add more button right below it uh you know one time setup fee something like that just using an example you can do as you wish so let's put 300 here and then maybe 500 here you can also assign it an invoice number so let's say you want to follow like a process so you can say like 001 and then you can you know keep adding to it it doesn't matter it's optional then you can also set an link expiration so if you want to uh, if you want this link to expire after a certain time you can do that but for now we, we're just going to disable it and then you can also you know say payment mode test or live now if you want to test it for yourself you know how this works you can put it to test mode or you can set it to live if you're sending it to the actual client so just make sure you, you have it live before sending it out to the actual client and then you have to click on generate link once you do that, it will actually generate a link for you instantly inside the conversation. And then you can type a message before it like, you know, hey, um, you know, test this. Here is the link to the payment or the invoice, right? So uh, you can type that in and then just, you know, hit send. And that is literally it. So once the user receives that, this is how it will, you know, open up at their end. So if they click on the link it will open up a landing page a simple landing page uh, you don't have to build it so this will be like a payment link all they have to do is put in their card number you know pay the invoice and it will reflect on your go high level and you'll get paid instantly so this is a really convenient way you can easily do this like just like I showed you inside the mobile app now I'm going to take you to the desktop version and how you can do it there as well all right, so the desktop version, you have to click on SMS and then type in a message. So we can say, hi, this is the link for the payment. And then you will see this mini icon, which says request payment. So just click on that and then you can add the line items again and you can say, you know, console for marketing. I'm just going to do one example here. And then you can also set an invoice due date if you want to. Um, and then you have some additional options as well where you can, you know, set the payment mode to test or live depending if you're testing or sending it to an actual client. You can also click on preview on how it will look like on the client side. So this is a really good way to see, you know, if everything is perfectly fine before you hit send. And then all, all you have to do is copy link and mark it send. So that is what you will click on on the desktop side. And then you can see it says, uh, you know, the payment link here. Sorry. So let me just remove this. On the desktop side, it actually adds the, you know, uh, the signature and all, all that wording. You can change it if you want before hitting send. And once you have it ready, all you have to do is click send, and that is really it. So this is really convenient. Now, the, the question, how can I see that if the customer has paid or you know, what's the status of the payment and all of that? So we do have a tab for that. So inside the desktop, you have to click on payments on the left side. Once you do that, so we have uh, these invoices section. So, you know, we have invoices here. So all the invoices that I'm sending out will be listed here. Also, we have transactions. So right now, uh, what Go High Level does is all the transaction status would be shown under transactions. So if you are sending the link from the mobile side, you will have to refer to transactions on, you know, on the desktop because those will not be shown here under invoices at this point. This is a feature that might be added later on, but right now all the desktop invoices or text to pay links do come under invoices for reporting. And then if you're sending it from the mobile side, this will be listed under transactions too. So if you do not see that under invoices, if you send the link from the mobile side, that's okay. You do not have to worry. All you have to do is you know go to transactions and then you can see the status of your payment there as well. So that is how it will work. And that was it. I hope you find this useful and go get your payments with the text to pay links.